irgi sveiki, mes esame atvykę į Švediją, diplomatinio vizito įdamos bandymus ir šiuo metu mes stovime lauke kartu su Nils Jacobson strategijos agronomų šiaurės šalims. Ir jis papasakos toliau mum apie kviečiose ir rapsuose esančią pesticidų strategiją šiom šalims. Could you speak about something, uh, what is going strategy in Adama uh, portfolio of uh, pesticides? Yeah, uh, first of all, my name is uh, Nils Jakob. Nils. I'm working oh, as uh, strategic agronomy, uh, agronomy manager in Adama, Northern Europe. And um, I'm working on nine countries, so I'm trying to facilitate uh, all our projects uh, in the Benelux, in the Scandinavian and uh, in the Baltic uh, countries. The conditions uh, are very different uh, and especially in the Scandinavian countries it's sometimes really a, a challenge to, uh, to get new products. And now we are standing uh, in a wheat field and uh, herbicides Herbicide solutions uh, is really difficult. Uh, every time we are getting um, a ban of uh, two or three products, we are only getting uh, one new product. So the, the strategy in the, in the past was many times that one application with a herbicide was enough for controlling the wheat. But nowadays, with the limitations we are having, especially uh, on the grass wheat, means that we need to do sometimes up to three herbicide applications, first starting early in the autumn uh, uh, with a herbicide, and then maybe one time more follow-up in the autumn with another herbicide, and then in the spring, uh, we also do another fo uh, follow-up and, and uh, it's mainly for controlling uh, lolium, uh, for controlling uh, black grass is a challenge and uh, in some Scandinavian countries we are also having uh, a wheat which is really growing, uh, that's the, the vulpius and um, poa annua, uh, especially in, in, in wet seasons, we are also struggling a lot uh, with, uh, with the poor. And then we are also having the, the broadleaf wheat, uh, which is also a challenge um, to, to cover. And at the same time, when we are losing more and more active in ingredients, we are seeing that we are getting more resistance because the products we are having in leftover, they are getting more narrow, that we are not having this broad spectrum at, as we were having for many years ago. So in the future we need to use the full basket of uh, all the herbicides we are having. We need to use the IPM. We need to have a, a good crop protection. Uh, in the past it was easy uh, with, a, with a solution we were having growing uh, wheat by wheat on the good soil. The farmer you know, uh, if he is having a good soil, as we are standing on here, he, he wants to, to grow wheat after wheat. And on a field, uh, on an area like this, uh, we are standing in Sweden, he can easily have uh, 12 ton wheat per hectare. But that's not possible anymore uh, because he cannot control his wheat. So he needs to have a crop protection uh, uh, <coughs> where he is maybe can grow, let's say, 20-25% in the crop protection or in his rotation will be wheat and then he needs to have more spring barley in and of course uh, also some, some, some oil seed. Thank you, it's very interesting. So maybe you could speak more about the uh, oil seed rape? Yeah, but uh, the oil seed rape, uh, that's really important uh, for the farmer's uh, crop uh, rotation. But there we are also getting challenged uh, on, uh, on the wheat control because, uh, as you know, the curb um, uh, is a very important uh, tool for controlling the wheat. But here in Sweden, 
they got a ban uh, on, on the curb uh, this season, so they cannot use that tool uh, for next year just for controlling the grass weed. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Tai toliau mes pratesime video reportažą iš kitų laukų. Ačiū Jums. Good morning. My name is Renato Castagna. I work for Adama. I am the AME, the European Marketing and Product Strategy Manager. At Adama, as a leading of patent company, we do invest a lot of uh, resources to bring to the market solutions which are aimed to address market and farmer's pain point. And in a, in a world where the number of products of molecules is shrinking because of regulatory issues, we are investing resources and effort with our R&D center to bring to the market products which are formulated based on innovative formulation technologies. And we believe that this is the best way to address market needs, farmer pain points, but as well as about partnering with channels, with distributors, in order to be able to bring to the, to the farmers differentiated solution and to facilitate competition in the market. So a manifestation of what we are doing is the technology which we call Asorbital, which is a technology based on a set of co-formulas which are quite innovative, never used by the industry so far, and which are able to improve the penetration the uptake, the translocation, the movement within the tissues by our product. And Asorbital technology, which is a patented technology, is currently adopted uh, on a set of products which we are launching into the market, including the Nordics, the Baltics markets, with a range of products which are aimed to, to cover most of the uses which farmers are making with serious fungicides to protect the crop by the most important diseases like septoria, rust, fusarium and ramularia, other products which are relevant to be controlled because uh, being healed rubber. And we do believe that the best way to bring this kind of solution is to listen, talking to farmers, to distributors, is about learning, is about understanding which are the growing needs and is about we being delivering the solutions which the market, the farmers, the distributors wants. Noriu labai pasidžiaugti, kad turim galimybę aplankyti Švedijos bandymus ir kartu su kolega iš Švedijos Niklu pristatys, kuris mums pristatė bandymus, ką jie daro šiais metais ir kokia strategija bus Adamos Švedijoj ateinantiems dviem, trim sezonams. Dabar labai norėčiau paklausti Niklaso, kad jisai pasidalintų savo išvalgą ir patirtimi. Niklas, could you please little share with us about what we saw today and what will be strategy for Adama for coming two, three years in Sweden market? Yes, of course. Uh, Niklas and I are agronomy manager at Adama in Sweden and um, we are happy to have lots of new products and AIs in Sweden. And um, we have had time where we have hard uh, to, to register new products mm -hmm. and um, this has actually loosened up, so we are coming with many, many news now. Uh, so this is very good, uh, good for us, but also good for the farmers, actually. So this is very important. Um, this is uh, a PERA trial. Uh, we have used our product timeline here, and uh, we have really, really nice results. Yeah, we uh, can see here. So as you can see, the autumn treatment together with the spring treatment is the, the way to go. Uh, we cannot stand alone with the spring treatment. Uh, this we can see here in the trial. Uh, we also have new fungicides. Um, uh, our biggest and, uh, news is uh, the product uh, Suratel is containing uh, protiaconazol with a complete new formulation technology. Uh, and this we are testing in trials and uh, we have lots of background data supporting that we are having a, a faster uptake and also better efficacy. Uh, from Europe and now we are testing in these products in the local markets. It means now you will have more, more stronger uh, fungicide portfolio for coming season and in future. Yeah, of, of course. And the uh, Suratel was the first one with the straight protiaconazole. We also have uh, the product uh, Avastel. Already uh, registered. Already registered, but uh, it came just uh, one month ago. So it will be for next year. This yeah. is uh, the new type of protiaconazole with the new formulation technology and also uh, SDHI uh, fluxapyroxone. Okay. So this combination is unique and we are really looking forward to see the results here in Sweden, uh, how it performs. Um, 
because it's a complete unique uh, mixture. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, this yeah. will be very interesting. And very nice what uh, first your country uh, got this, this registration. Only in Baltics will come in end of this year or maybe next year. Perfect. Yeah, yep. yeah. And then we have chance to, to look today uh, and yesterday a lot of nice professional trials in Sweden country. Yeah, and hopefully I can come to you and see those yes. trials in the future also. <laughs> yes, super, thank you. Thank you. Labai noriu pasidžiaugti, kad kompanija Dama rūpinasi ne tik partneris, ūkininkais, bet ir savo darbuotojais komanda. Mes turėjom unikalias dvi dienas pabūti Danijoje ir Švedijoje pasižiūrėti, kaip kolegos planuoja savo strategiją ateinančiais dviem trim metais ir padarė labai įdomius bandymus. Turėjom galimybę pamatyti tiek fungicidinius, tiek herbicidinius bandymus, kurie jau yra rinkoje ir kurie dar ateis. Ir e, neveltoj Adamos yra šūkis, e, žinios, patirtis ir dalinimasis. Tai mes šiandien ir vakar visą mūsų komandą iš Latvijos, Lietuvos, Estijos, Olandijos, e, Skandinavijos šalių turėm galimybę pasidalinti, išmokti ir grįžę į Lietuvą. Taip pat turėsime e, unikalią galimybę planuoti savo bandymus ateinančiam kitam sezonui. Labai noriu pasidžiaugti, kad šiandieną pas mus yra kartu su mumis mūsų didžiausio kliento agrotechnologijos technologijų plėtros vadovė Gabrielė. Kartu atvyko su mumis pasižiūrėti Adamos sukurtų ir pateiktų bandymų Švedijoje ir Danijoje. Taip, Erik, ačiū, kad pakvietėt į bandymus pasirodo Švedijos ir Danijos pirkžiolės lygiai tokios pat kaip ir mūsų. Ta pati problematika. Lygos taip pat yra tos pačios. Kenkėjai taip pat sausros metu tie patys. Atradom labai daug tų pačių sasajų su Lietuva. Ir aišku, įvertinom, pasižiūrėjom, kokie yra sprendimai atliekami konkrečiai, būtent Švedijoje. Na, Švedijoje kai kurie laukai, kaip šitas, vat, pavyzdžiui, yra dėkinamas laukas, ar ne? Keturis kartus. Ar tai, penkis? Penkis, penkis, penkis kartus, kartus per sezoną. Penkis kartus dėkinamas, bet uh, ko, Kas gaunasi, kad efektyvumas herbicidų yra labai didelį poveikį vis dėl to dregmė duoda. Ir kartais nereikia atvykti ant herbicido, kuris nesuveikia iki pabaigos ar ne neužmušė ten šimtų procentų nesukontroliavo pirkdžiolių. Tai mes turim puikius pavyzdžius ir sausros metu, kaip reikia elgtis ir kokiom normom purkšti. Nors kaip matom, visos normos, beveik visos normos yra sumažintos. sumažintos. Ir žiūrim, kodėl taip yra padaryta. Iš tikrųjų ir fungicidose, fungicidinose bandymuose, bandymuose nebuvo taip, ligų, nebuvo ligų ir ta, gaila, taip, taip, taip. Ir šiai metai gal nėra fungicidų bandymų. Taip, taip, tai negalima irgi kaltinti ir mokslininkų ir dar kažko tai, tai va, toks yra rezultatai, kokie gauti tokie. Aišku, žolės visą laiką dyksta, bet, vat, pavyzdžiui, žliūgiai šiemet, ne žliūgių metai. Ne žliūgių metai. Ir čia nėra nuo žliūgės taip, nerado. Taip, taip. Tai vat, tokių apžvalgų, kad būtų daugiau, Erika. Tai stengsimės kviesti ir labai ačiū, kad dalyvaujat, kad žiniom dalinamės, nes tik tai mokslas, žinios ir padaro verslo gerą rezultatą. Tai ačiū labai, Gabrielė, už dalyvavimą. Ačiū. Ačiū. Rezimuojant šiandienos vizitą, Švedijos laukose yra dama bandymose, galiu pasakyti tokius pastebėjimus, kuri tulių nebuvo, iškrito 16 mm, dalis pasėlių matosi stipriai yra nukentėja, stojama miežiuose, kurie auginami, kaip neįprasta mum, viskiui. Miežiai tokie, na, derlius bus, kaip matot, nu, ne koksai, pikdžiolės labai piktos, godai įvairius, Bromus sekalinus, kuri labai intensyviai lindo į kojas ir badėsi. Cukrinės terunkelės pilna amarų. Tos amarus skanėjai tarp jų potauja boružės. Tikrai labai toks vaizdas, grinai, grinai po sausros. Tikrai buvo įdomu verta pažiūrėti bendrus sprendimus, kokius atlieka šį įmonę. Ir tikimės, kad šios naudos, kurias mes šiandien patyrėme ir pamatėme, mūsų bendradarbiavimui toliau duos ateiti ir bendrausime toliau taip intensyviai, kaip dabar bendraujame.